Hello everybody, it is Canagraphs here with a Legends of Tomorrow Season 6 set report. This was filmed back on October 13th in downtown Vancouver and uh, to start the day it was pouring rain, like just ugly ugly rain for the first couple of hours of the day. So a lot of the cast you see uh, were wearing full on like raincoats. And you can see that uh, even for the rehearsal, it was still pouring when they did the rehearsal scene. So they did the rehearsal in their uh, raincoats. And uh, then it eventually started to dry out a bit. Here's Dominic Purcell. This is the first time he has seen on set since, uh, since announcing that he had had COVID. And um, he was at work that day. Here they, here's an actual part of the scene. You can see Dominic Purcell, Matt Ryan, Tala Ash, uh, Olivia Swan, and Jess McCallan doing the scene together here and uh, all the scene really is is them walking down the street together this is seemingly from immediately short like shortly after season six or season five ended because they're all still wearing the same attire they were when um, Sarah gets abducted and here they are walking back from there um, it was uh, dry-ish by the time they filmed this as you can see there's a substantial difference in in the weather there there was a little bit of rain once in a while but it was uh, a lot drier than it was earlier here's uh, a few photos from in between takes from uh, that that scene there's Dominic Tala and Matt then there's Tala waiting you can see the marks on the ground and the fluorescent tape that's where the actors are supposed to stand to start the scene and um, there's the group of them coming back from one of the takes and uh, they're all in a pretty good mood for the most part. Uh, there's Matt staring off at uh, Tala and Dominic. There's a uh, old British phone booth right beside them too, that was in the scene. There's the girls all standing around talking in between takes. And um, here they are getting ready to actually film the scene. Uh, as you can see, Dominic stands a few feet behind them to start the scene, and the rest of them are all kind of lined up in a line. And here's Cheyenne Sobian uh, doing a scene where he's standing with a Queen's guard, and um, he's eating some type of random food item. And this is him uh, asking the director for directions in between takes. And. Um, here is him actually doing his scene. There wasn't a lot to the scene. I mean, he, he's talking to this guard, but I have no idea what the conversation is about. But knowing him, it's probably something kind of funny. Um, there is a moment, I don't know if I get it in this take or if it was in a different take, but the guard actually looks at him for a second, kind of like, what are you talking about? Uh, just before he does that walk away there. And... Uh, then he goes back to set up for uh, the next scene. And um, I have another take of it here somewhere, I think. Uh, yeah, here we go. So here's another take of the same scene. And you can see he's just, he's very animated in whatever he's saying. He uh, doesn't seem to um, do anything outside of chat with the, the guard. Uh, and then he just uh, turns around and eventually just uh, walks away in the scene after he, he points a finger at the, the guard and there he goes just strolling off as if no big deal in the world. And that's the scene that he was involved in. So in the uh, next set of photos here you see the group is now interacting with Cheyenne. This is a, a scene where you see from that first scene and then you see Cheyenne's scene, and they uh, meet up together in the street just outside of uh, uh, where we saw um, Cheyenne talking to that uh, guard. And here's a, a shot of the cast just waiting to do the scene. And uh, I can't remember what was happening here. I can't remember if this is in scene or if this was in between takes, but uh, Matt Ryan's looking off uh, in Olivia's direction. There's uh, Olivia waiting to do the scene. By this point, I'd moved to the other end of the street because I had a lot of shots from that end, so I kind of tried a different angle. And um, 
but here's one more take from that angle. I didn't I didn't do any video from the other angle. I just did video from here. This is the scene with the group and uh, Cheyenne talking outside the building that you just saw him walking away from. You, you notice the guard isn't there anymore. It's because he's not needed in the scene because the camera's not pointed in that direction. But uh, there's the cast uh, walking back after the take and uh, it, it, it had dried out by this point like it was fully dry by this point so wasn't even a, a little sprinkle anymore um, not a lot uh, not a lot to add <laughs> there uh, here, here's that scene again um, from the beginning uh, you can see the, the cast is all, all out there and uh, Jess is there and she's uh, She'll, she'll uh, wave at a, a fan that's across the street that was dressed up like the White Canary. And uh, she'd done that a couple of times throughout the day. Um, then they got ready to shoot the scene. And here they go. And that is the point where Cheyenne joins the conversation. <clears throat> I don't know why Cheyenne was originally separated from the group, but somehow he ended up separated from them for a little while and went on an adventure where he grabbed some food and got to talk to a uh, Queen's guard and then met up with the group. And during the whole time, Olivia is counting something in her hand. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, I get the uh, impression it's supposed to be some type of currency, but it doesn't look like a, a British pound to me. It looks more black and white to me. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, maybe if other people have an idea, they can they can chime in. But I don't know. I guess I'm not that familiar with uh, what a pound is supposed to look like. So maybe it maybe that's what they used to look like back in the day. <clears throat> Here's the last few set photos where uh, Tal and Matt are standing waiting to do a scene. By this point. By this point, they weren't even um, shooting from full body, so Tala was able to like wear her jacket around her waist to keep warm um, because she didn't need to uh, show off the, the whole wardrobe. Um, there's Jess waiting to do a scene, and here's uh, Jess laughing in between takes. And... Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was it for the uh, Legends of Tomorrow uh, out on location that day. Um, I hope to have more updates uh, later this season and thank you and hope to see you around for other Arrowverse videos that I have. Bye.